I'm doing some flame testing today and some more bench testing of the cell just to see how it's doing and one of the things that I changed since the last video was doing part to a little trick that JDC Music Man uses on his cell. He alters the current on his in a way I've never seen anybody do it before so from that idea what I ended up doing here is sticking a metal copper tube in between these two center plates and some more copper wire up top to change the per volt gap rating. I'm now at 2.9 volts per gap and it has significantly increased the performance of this cell and the cell does not get hot and I'm up to about 45 to 42 amps and it really kicks some gas and I'm going to be doing an illustration here on just how important it is to use low voltage because when I first got into this I was using high voltage not high voltage but 12 volts I do not use 12 volts anymore I'm going to turn the light off so we can see this flame better Okay, that's at 38 amps. And I don't know if you can see this flame yet or not, but at 38 amps, this flame is 10 times bigger than my cell here, this one, at 100 amps. I mean, yeah, I'm not really in a good spot to be showing this with all that white in the background. We'll let that build up pressure a second. They've up to about 5 PSI already. It pulls out so fast that it won't even stay lit hardly. I don't know if you can hear that. Look at that flame with just 38 amps. Okay. That was 39 amps actually. Let me drain this gas. Now I'm going to fire up my other pump and we're going to be running it around 100 amps. Oh, I think I a lot of pressure in it. Okay. Full power on the liquid bearing gas. Seventy-six amps there. I'm low on e light in my liquid barrier. That's why the current's low. Well, either way, we're about to see a drastic difference. This here is a seventy-six amp flame. It's seventy-two amps now. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's a real tiny, there's a good spot. Little, little tiny 70 amp flame there. I'll try to bring it down. 30 amps. Okay, there's 35 amps. Look at that piddly little thing. That is the same amperage as the cell we just seen. Now this is a this cell is not running at 12 volts either. It's running at 5 volts, 4.8 to 4.9 volts. But I just want to show you a demonstration between the drastic difference in those voltages. This is 35 amps at 5 volts. And now we're going to do the same thing over here. Okay, about 
40 volts there now, or 40 amps, I mean. I'm going to have to redo that other test. There's a 40 amp flame at 2.9 volts. And I don't know if you can see that, that thing is uh, pretty freaking huge. This will burn a hole into a CO2 cartridge. It's a tiny one, but I did get one in there. So I was going to try to build a pulse jet engine out of one of these. And it got me a nice, pretty little hole. I didn't have to drill, so I did get a step up. Do that one more time. There's 40, 39 amps. Looks like it's even out. Evening out, I mean. So there it is. There is 39 amps on this cell. Wow, there's 40 amps on this one. There's still a lot of overpressure in there from the other cell. That will die down in a second. Okay, so there it is. I'm at 42 amps, actually. So I'm 2 amps over. What I'll try to do is I'm going to hold this flame up against that in the background there. Right at that silver edge, you see that? We are at 40 amps. My torch is just touching the edge of that billboard in the background, or my action board is what I call it. That's what keeps me headed in some direction anyway. There's that. We're gonna do the same 40 amps over here. Okay, 39 amps. Wow. And as you can see, it's shooting across the black line in the billboard. It's almost going across the entire billboard. That's the same amperage. Actually, I take that back. We're at 37 amps right now. You can see that bubbler in the background is going crazy. Actually, this is a gas washer. It's not really a bubbler. I build mine strong enough to, to flash back and not rupture. So I don't really need bubblers. So that's a definitely an amazing difference. This thing's obviously made out of two different metals. Top is just melting away. I got a fan in the background here cooling me off. Hopefully that'll work. Starting to kick some e light through my hose. There goes a hole. Uh, this thing is getting so hot it's burning my hand. Okay, I'm going to shut that off. Yeah, I was up about 5 psi again. That's dangerous. I'm going to do a quick temp reading on the cell. Amazing. Freaking amazing. I have cooling fans on myself, so I am cheating just a bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. 93 degrees Fahrenheit. And this little brass bar right here is directly in contact with the fluid. You can't get accurate readings off that though. It says 86, but it's a reflective material. So, I'm not too sure. Now the cell is definitely not what I would call hot. 